My name is Ace Nobuo. My name is Omar. And our, our favorite, favorite number, number is, is 77. 77. Okay. My name is Nobuo. My name is Omar. Our and favorite number sorry. is... Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> because you know, very difficult to yeah. say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. On three. One, two, do it. My name is Nobuo. My name is Omar. Our, our favorite, favorite number, number is 77. 77. 77 is not my favorite number. You know, somehow this number gave me lots of challenge. For me, I'm loyal to 77 for now because there are 77 countries in the world that don't have adequate poverty data. And measuring this is very important. World Bank is working with 155 countries. And out of that, around 140 countries are basically developing countries. So 77 meaning basically around half the countries have some kind of problem in terms of poverty data. Out of these 77 countries, 29 have no data. 28 have only one data point, which tells you something, but doesn't tell you which direction the country is headed. And there are another 20 countries where there are two data points, but they are collected infrequently. If we don't have poverty data regularly, then we cannot monitor whether this country is reducing poverty or not. Without having the data, you cannot do anything about it, or you don't know what's going on. At a certain level, it's a little daunting, you know, because 77 is a big number. Uh, how to measure poverty is a really important question, and actually very difficult to do that. Now that's um, a bit of an involved process. So you do it through household consumption surveys. What we are doing is basically we visit certain number of households. A sample of households are selected that is representative at a national level. Usually you need to spend easily two hours to interview one household. And uh, if we want to get reasonably accurate uh, poverty number from one country, you need to visit at least 2,000 households. And a country like Nigeria or uh, some countries, they collect even nearly 100,000 households. So huge amount of time and resources need to be spent to collect poverty data. It also collects a battery of information on what those households look like. You know, how many children do they have? How many adults do they have? How many elderly do they have? The male-female decomposition. What sort of employment opportunities do they have? Do they receive social assistance, education? So basically, not just data on consumption, but also what we call correlates of poverty, things that are related to poverty. And that is very important, right? Uh, we don't just want to count the poor. We also want to do something about it. And this data set actually enables you to see what keeps people poor. The reason we want to have very frequent data set is, for example, we, uh, you remember we had a, a very bad you know, global financial crisis in 2009. So country like Bangladesh, they do not have data set in 2009. So we don't know whether global financial crisis hit Bangladesh very badly or not. Not only is that, we will never know. You need to have data to understand the magnitude of the problem, or very simply even what the problem is. It's not because by reducing uh, uh, data deprivation, we can compare country A and country B. My true feeling is that's secondary. But what I care most is without data, we cannot help poor people who are living in country A. So that's the last part I, I hate a lot, and that's the reason I hate 77. The people who work on data, we bring it to the fore, and we try to then show the numbers, show the analysis, and hopefully move the needle. Basically, we believe collecting data is giving voice to the poor. But I realize having this number concretely, that's an extremely important discovery. So in that sense, yes, I need to, I hate to admit, but yes, I like 77. Now we know the gravity of the situation, and at the same time, we also see that there is hope that by 2030 there should be no data deprivation in the world. We want to get to zero. And we know exactly what countries are facing problems. And based on this number, maybe we can find a solution.